welcome to Culture Express. Welcome to China again. Thank you. I know this time you are here actually in Beijing for the launch of this new project, uh, Galaxy yes. Soho. That's right. How how different is this one? Well, I think it's different from the others in the sense it's not a cultural building, but it's a very large, it's a very large site. I mean, in Europe, for example, if you have a very large site, if you are in Berlin, you will do a, what they call a perimeter block. They will do a building around the edge and make a kind of a hall in there. But this was, and what is interesting about this is it has a different block, but they are connected. Uh, through bridges, mm -hmm. so um, it's a connected side, but it's also very separate buildings. Mm -hmm. There are many atriums, many atrias, and also the whole side becomes a public domain, so it extends back to the city, and people can just wander around and, you know, so it's like a valley with all these connections. So I think it's rather, as a kind of, a t I think a typology, I think it's very refreshing new typology. Right, indeed, we have a lot to expect, actually, after it's after its launch. And I also understand now your clients are actually everywhere in the country. You have clients in, in, in Beijing, in Shanghai, in Chengdu, in Changsha, in Guangzhou, uh, everywhere. So uh, from your partnership, from your cooperation with these Chinese clients, what is the impression that you get about what Chinese clients are looking for in terms of architecture design? I think it's very exciting about China is that there is a kind of a certain ambition uh, I think they knew there were some ideas out there and they want to embrace them and I think they want to kind of project the, the architecture and the country to the future. I mean, people in the West talk about, you know, theoretical projects and uh, projects on paper, but actually the projects, some of the projects done in China are in a way more advanced mm. than the projects which were done as a, as a kind of a theoretical project. So I think it's, it's a, for, for me it's very exciting because we are able to achieve these kind of ambitions uh, here. You know, I came to China 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I knew then, or oh, 31 years ago. 81. In 81. I knew then that there was um, not only an incredible future, but also that there would be an incredible future for architecture. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think it's very, very exciting. All these projects that you have in China, and I guess these are the non-traditional shapes of buildings. Uh, some I quite like, maybe not so appealing to some of the city residents here in these big cities. And some are also saying China or these big cities are now becoming the experimental hotbed for all these architects. Oh, well, it's not really experimental. I mean, I think these things have now been tested. I think that because uh, it's a new era and there was focus on the public domain mm. I think that the connection between the public domain and the interior domain are ought to be seamless it ought to flow you know it's no longer the time when the sites are private and fortified you know that you are you cannot go beyond the certain boundary mm. I think that what is exciting about this era is that uh, people want to be part of, part of the public domain, and therefore we have to invent in every possible way. Well, it's certainly very important to be inventive as an uh, architect, but at the same time, because there is a, quite a debate which, is going on in, in, which has been going on in China for a while now. Some are saying, hey, this is a city with thousands of years of uh, history and civilization, and uh, some Others are also saying oh, we need innovation, we need something new. So how do you see the relationship between uh, innovation and tradition? Well, I think tradition is not only in the appearance. Mm -hmm. Tradition is in the, in the way uh, people historically uh, organize space. Uh, I know there's a tremendous attachment to the courtyard housing, for example, um, you know, which, are, which are very nice. Some of them are hotongs so that should be kept. I mean, I think it was very nice industrial buildings, but they, don't, they lack density. So maybe they could, be, could appear in certain places. It's kind of intersectional spaces between some enclosures, some openness. So when I think one can interpret these ideas, so you have to understand the essence of tradition. And try to extrapolate ways to move it forward, you know? I, I think the West uh, and some historic cities are too obsessed with the past to their, to their detriment because 
you see that, I mean, Venice is a beautiful city, you know, but it is, it is, um, it become, becomes just a tourist attraction because there is no growth. You know, the Chinese cities are very big cities and I think you can't, in a way, you cannot avoid urbanization. Mm. But maybe in time, it becomes more specific. Right. Uh, what about your impression of Chinese uh, architects? Because uh, actually this year, Chinese architect Wang Shu just won yeah. the major prize, the uh, Prisca Prize. Uh, what is your impression, general impression? No, I think Nalas are really very good Chinese architects. And I think they, you know, I think that um, I have a lot of Chinese working with me and, and uh, Chinese students, of course, everywhere. And there are lots of, I think there's a lot of talent and um, yeah, I think that's also very exciting. You know, I think that uh, when I first came to China, and the second time I came to China, I mean, I went to give a lecture in Shanghai and the second time I came in the mid 90s. I mean, it was a different world, you know. And when I first came, you know, they had just began in, in 91, began to look at other material. So the change is so enormous. And, in 30 years. Mm -hmm. And talking about design, talking about architecture, uh, you've been doing it for decades. So what do you think is the fundamental goal in architecture design? Well, I think it really it is to make better life. Architecture for better life. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.